All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Brokate Yahweh, Brokate Yahweh Shai, Brokate Yahweh, Brokate Yahweh Shai, Brokate Yahweh, Brokate Yahweh Shai. Call the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And I shalom to you, sincere Akiyam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And I shall on to the few sincere Akwat that are out there listening and learning as well. All right. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this lesson. As usual, I'm going to go in the uh, Rakal Kwadash. And uh, Lord's willing, it'll be edifying. All right. I don't have any videos, any articles, uh, nothing like that. Heads up. So I know this video probably won't get a lot of views, but hey, I could care less. I do my videos, like I always say, for the sincere Akim. And the few, the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening, alright? So, um, anyway, with that being said, um, uh, for the, for the last, well, it's always a, a reoccurring theme, um, that's in, that runs through my, my, you know, my noggin, you know, you know, all the brothers, you know, and that's why we do this. We, 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 we lift up our voice like a trumpet and, and we show our people their transgressions, you know, whether they hear or forbear, you know? You know, and the, one of the, the key precepts or one of the key reasons why is because the Lord said that his word doesn't go out void, you know. And throughout the years, you, you can clearly see that that is a 1,000%, 144,000% factual uh, precept statement made by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay. His word doesn't go out void. It's going to accomplish that which he pleases, all right. And it's going to prosper, okay. You know what I mean? So pretty much that's what this lesson is going to be centered around. Um, I was meditating on that, um, you know, and um, a couple of scriptures came up um, kind of, you know, like I'm just going to spirit, you know, wherever it leads, it leads, you know, uh, the Lord's willing. I'll hit all the scriptures and uh, hit all the main points and uh, it'll be edifying. All right. So anyway, with that being said, let's get it popping. Um, like I said, that that that, that quote or that thought, uh, that precept is uh, Isaiah 55 and 11. All right. I'm gonna read it, but then I'm gonna jump to jump jump from I'm gonna jump to the top and you start at the top. But I'll read it real quick. As you can see, it's up on the screen. You know, it says Isaiah 55 and 11. It says, "So shall my word." Okay, whose word? Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai? Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai's word. Okay, because what the word actually is found. The word is what the, these these scriptures. Okay, these laws, statutes, and commandments. Uh, found within within the so-called Bible, if you may have, okay, Old and New Testament, the whole book and the Apocrypha, you know, you know, that's the word found within these scriptures, you know, and and what did what did they say that the word is really Yahweh Shai, man, okay, Yahweh is the heavenly Father who you ignorantly call God, okay, God just means power, Yahweh is is his name, okay, okay, and his the, his only begotten Son is his name is Yahweh Shai. Who you ignorantly call Christ, Jesus Christ, okay, you know, and they're and they, they're so-called black men. Yahweh Shai is a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah, okay, a so-called Negro, a dark-skinned man, okay, and it says, "Lo, I come in the volume of the book." That's what Yahweh Shai said, okay. So the word is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the Comforter. The words are the Comforter. You see, it it it, it built it, it soothes it, it it builds our faith, okay. Why? Because it doesn't go out void, and the Lord is not a man that he shall lie, okay? Everything is going to come to pass, okay? One, not one jot or one tittle is going to pass from this law to all be fulfilled, okay? That's our comfort. That's our, that's the patience and the faith of the saints, man, that everything that the Lord said is, is going to be come to pass, man, good and bad, okay? You know? So it says, Isaiah 55 and 11, so shall my word Okay, that's what the Lord said. Speak to them with my word. Okay, give them warning from me. Okay, we're just the vessels, man. We're just the mouthpiece. Okay, these aren't our thoughts. Okay, these are the, the, the this is the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're just warning you. We're the spiritual weathermen, man. Whether you believe it or not. Okay, telling you the time that you and we in the end, the latter times. Okay, and the, the doors of mercy are closing. Okay. We're, we're, we're about to enter into a, a time known as Jacob's trouble, man. A horrible time, okay? And that's what we're out here doing, giving you warning, okay? And, 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 and you know, get, 
you know, um, re removing that, that destroying that covering cast that Esau Edom, the so-called white man put over you, man, giving you back your heritage, telling you who you are, you so-called Negroes, you so-called um, West Indians, you so-called Haitians, so-called uh, Latin tribes, so-called uh, Hispanics, whatever you want to call yourselves, so-called Native Americans, okay, and the Israelites that are for scattered, okay, amongst the other nations looking like the heathen nations. But their line goes back, their, their father, their seed goes back to Yasharala, Israel, man. That's what we're at. We're out here to, to warn you, you know, give you the words from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai found within these scriptures. The whole truth, the whole unadulterated truth, whether you like it or not, man, because we were commanded to, okay? And, and therefore, there's no more cloak for your sins. The blood is off our hands, man. It is what it is. It is what it is, okay? So back in Salah, Isaiah 55 and 11, it says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Okay, but it's not really out of his mouth because the Lord ain't going to come down here and speak to you, man. He's going to speak through his men, his servants, his prophets, man. It says, Surely the Lord will do nothing. That's in Amos. Surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto the servants, the prophets, man. Okay, and the Lord is only going to reveal his truth unto, unto obedient men, man. Men that are meet for repentance, that are going to be obedient and do what he said. Pay it forward. Feed the sheep. Warn the people. He's not going to give it to someone that's going to just sit on it, okay, and be a napkin niggard, okay? Take his candle and, and put it under a bushel, you know, hide it under a blanket, man, okay? That Zion means monument. You're supposed to be out there sighing and crying for all the abominations done therein, heralding in the, our, our Lord and Savior, how about you, Shai, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, man? testifying against this wicked place, man. Babylon the Great, as all the prophets of old did, man. Okay? So it says, so, sh so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. Yeah, it ain't going to come back out. You know, the Lord said, he, <laughs> he the, basically he gave us talents, pennies, money. And he, he said he's going to require, require, requ Salakia, require that money with usury, with interest, man. Okay, you got to flip that penny or them, them talents, man. Okay, you see? So it ain't going to come back out void because there's men that are that, that are going to be obedient. You're going to have the foolish virgins, the five foolish virgins, but you're going to have the wise virgins that are going to do what the Lord said and occupy till he comes, you know? You know? Hastening, his, looking looking for the day of the Lord. Hastening is coming. And that's us, Lord, is willing we keep enduring to the end. Okay? You know? We, it, it, we don't care about no likes. We don't care about no views. Okay? It's going to accomplish what the Lord said, man. Okay? We don't care if nobody stops out there in the highways and the byways. We don't care if everybody snubbed their nose at us. Okay? We don't care, man, because you, you are marked. Okay? The word ain't going out void. Okay, whether you listening, whether you understand it, whether you digesting it or not, that's on you, man. You can't say you didn't see us, you didn't hear about us, you didn't hear about this truth. You can't say you you weren't warned. Okay, you didn't have to, you didn't you can't say there wasn't an opportunity for you to to learn. Okay, to learn, inquire about the Lord. Okay, but you refused. You know, so it is what it is. So it says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. Okay, so like I said, some people are getting marked, some people are getting that tawa, okay, that seed, that, that, that seed is being planted, as, as we're, I'm going to go into Lord's one in, in, a, in a little bit, okay, that seed is being planted, okay, you know, you know, and some people are being marked for judgment, man, you know. That's what the Lord said. The angel is <laughs> is going going behind us, going behind the men that sign crying, marking you, man. Okay, marking you for uh exempt from judgment or or, or not exempt, man. Okay? But you want that to walk. You want that ex to be exempt, man. So take heed, repent. You know, rehearse the righteous acts, you know? Put on therefore as the elect. Okay? It says it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, marking you, either for salvation or judgment. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Okay, so if you were, hey, that's beautiful, because if if, if that, could we plant in the seed? 
We planting the seed. As, as, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go here. We planting the seed. But that seed, you know, it, it, it could be. It, could you, it, it, I'm going to, you're going to have a lot of Israelites that are going to wake up dur during the 11th hour, okay? The scriptures tell you about that. At, at the uh, About the 11th hour, which I'm oh, um, Lord's willing, I'll get into that, okay? So that seed is being planted, nonetheless, okay? The word is not going out void. It's accomplishing what the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, pleases, man. The, the foolishness of, of preaching. Okay, you know, so it says, uh, this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 5. It says, who then is Paul, who is Apollos, but ministers by whom ye believed? Who? The elect. Okay, it says, even like, the sheep, the sheep, the Lord said, my sheep hear my voice. That's why we, that's why we do it, because we, we follow the lamb wheresoever he goes, man, and we're obedient. Okay. But there's different, there's different lots, man. There's different, there's levels of things, man. Everybody's not a prophet. Everybody's not a teacher. Okay, you got, but you got the believers. Okay, the one third, the innumerable multitude of believers, man. Okay, the men, women, and children predestined for salvation. Okay, that believed on on the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, and therefore believed on His men. Okay. So it says, who then is Paul and who is Apollos? But ministers by whom ye believed, even as the Lord Yahawashai gave to every man. It says, I have planted, this is Paul speaking, so Paul planted, right? Apollos watered, meaning another man, he, for example, let's, let's use Elder Apostle Tahar, for example. He planted the seed, and the other brothers, the other different camps, Elder Apostle Gabar, maybe, Elder Apostle Ramla, or, or the other, the, you know, the other. The other elders underneath, you know, all the whoever, you know, it could have even even been another uh, another alphabet group if you may have it, you know, you know, because you, you you the the elect have one thing in common. One thing I could say for sure that the elect have they're sincerely searching for the truth, man. We all have we're all on this journey. We were all on this journey looking for answers, looking for. We all have a zeal for the Lord, man. Yasharala does anyway. Okay, our spirit bears witness that we are the children of the Most High, man. We have a natural zeal for the Creator, Yahweh. Okay, but not according to knowledge. Okay, and 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 usually, Yahshemal wants to please God, but they want the two thirds. Once they find out, they they find out of how He is, His ways. They don't they don't want to they don't want to accept it. Okay, you know they just want the good. They don't want the the bitters. They just want the sweet. They just want to hear smooth things. You know. So they, they, they throw out, you know, certain characteristic of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, but not us. We eat the whole ro roll, you know, because we were about the truth. It didn't matter what, what you know, we, we wanted the, the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. You see? You see? So it says, who then is Paul and who is Apollos? So like I said, somebody planted, could have been the elders, and, and another camp might have, uh, might be Apollos, for example, watered, man. You might have been watching some other videos. Okay, but at, 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 hey, so the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. Whenever that time, whenever that, uh, that time is for you, it's going to speak, man, if you are part of the elect, because that seed has been planted and watered. You see, it says, verse three, I ha it says, I have planted, Apollos watered, but Yahweh gave the increase. Okay, because ultimately this is, this thing is up to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. He does the choosing. Okay. He does the choosing, okay? Even the Lord said that. I have, I have manifest your name to them that thou hast given me out of the world. They are mine and thine are mine, you know? Roughly paraphrasing. He says, so this is the, the, the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai does, does the choosing, man. He does the increase at whatever time he fits so. Chooses, you know, it's his penny. He can do whatever the hell he wants to do with it. You see? You see? But at the end of the day, like I said, that, that, that seed is planted. That word is not going out vo void. Okay? I'm kind of all over the place, but ho hopefully it, it, it's making sense and it'll come together. Okay? So it says, verse 7, 1 Corinthians 3 and 7. So then, neither is he that planted anything. Yeah, all our righteousness is filthy rags, man. There's nothing to boast about. Okay? We're just messengers. We're just the humble servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, this ain't about no vain glory. This ain't about likes or none of that shit. 
This is about you repenting and, and, and doing what the Lord said, man. Okay, fighting for that crown. Okay, you know, fighting the good fight of faith. We're fighting and we, we, we're trying to encourage you to fight also and push. Okay, we're near. Our redemption is nearer. Our job is to persuade you, man. Know, knowing the terrors of the Lord, we persuade men. We know how the Lord is, man. He is He is beautiful. Yapa, long-suffering, merciful, loving. But he's also <laughs> jealous, man. You know, vengeful. You know, he has anger. He has, a, you know, a temper. You know, you don't want to see that other side of him. So we're trying to beg, you know, get you to, you know, get in order. Get your house in order, you know? But nonetheless, we, we tell you whether you hear or forbear, whether you like it or not. We're going to keep putting these videos up. We're going to keep flooding the unicorn. We're going to keep hitting them highways and byways till the Lord will tell us we can't do it no more, till he withdraws his men, you know? Because we know that the word is not going out void, and we can see it. We can see it. The elect are being sealed daily, okay? You know? So it says, so then neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, but Yahweh get that giveth the increase. Okay? Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one. Okay, because at the end of the day, we're all of the same body, man. We all on the same accord. Okay? You know? Bricks, spiritual bricks, which the chief cornerstone, the chief brick is Yahweh Shai. And we all build in that temple, man. And that temple is your body. It starts with you, okay? Know you not that you're the, the temples of the Most High, okay? The kingdom is within. The kingdom starts with us, okay? It starts with the elect. The two-thirds, they're gone, gone, man. They're not going to make it on this side, okay? That seed is planted still for them so that there'll be no cloak for their sins. But, hey, they, the Lord gave them over to their vile affections, man, okay? The lust of their heart. He don't care about them. He cares about the elect, man, okay? You know, um, matter of fact, I don't know where I want to go. I had, uh, I don't want to make this too, too long, man. I don't want to make this too, too long. Matter of fact, I was going to start at the top. You could read this whole chapter is good, man. This whole chapter is good. You know, it tells you that you shouldn't be paying for this truth, man. You know, you roughly, rough, not, not, it doesn't say it here, but roughly paraphrasing freely you were given, freely you should receive. And it's like, freely you receive, freely you give. That's why it's going to say, uh, buy, you know, he that have no money, come ye buy, buy and eat. You know, ye come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Because you're supposed to pay it for it, man. That's your reasonable service, man. Okay. This, you know, this is the least that you can do. This is the least you could do. All right. Paying it forward. Feeding the sheep. The Lord said, if you love me, told Peter, feed my sheep. Warn them, man. You know. So, um. Salakia, let me jump over. Oh, I don't want to know where I don't want to start here. Salakia, bear with me. I don't want to go here. Yeah, I'll, I'll go here. I'll go here. Straight out of Yahweh Shai's mouth. Because I was, I go, you know, I was thinking about the 11th hour, man. You know, a lot a lot of brothers are going to come up. A lot, Not even just brothers, but in general, the elect. I'll say the elect. Men, women, and children, whatever. They're going to come in at the 11th hour. Okay? You know? In the day of our power, the people will be willing, man. When they see, when they see the power, okay, because we're best believe the Lord is going to lift up a standard, man. Okay, He's doing it now on on a spiritual level, you know, through these scriptures and the men, you know. But also, hey, we're going to get that spiritual power, man. Okay, the Lord promised us that, man. Okay, His disciples had it of old. Okay, Peter and them, they were healing the sick, raising people from the dead. So it begs, it, there's no new thing under the sun, okay? Greater things than the than the Lord we're going to do, man. He promised us that, okay? So, um, like I said, at the 11th hour, a lot of, a lot of brothers and sisters are going to come in also, man. All right? So, um, like I said, because that seed at the, end of the, at the end of the day is planted because the, 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 the word doesn't go out void. So this is Matthew chapter 20. I'll start at verse 1. And you can see the red letters on, so you can see it straight out of, out of Yahweh Shai's mouth. So it says, For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. Okay? And when he agreed, see, because this thing is work, you got this thing is about working. 
okay, labor, working, laboring, you know, fighting the good fight, you know, pushing this truth out, feeding the sheep, eat, studying, of course, to show that's laboring, all that's la laboring, studying to show that self approved, you know, rightly dividing the word of truth unto Yahweh, you know, you know, being apt to teach, being ready to teach, you got to labor, you know, not to mention rehearsing the righteous acts, that's laboring, you know, and then doing these lessons, you know, these sit downs, you know, going out and not, that's laboring, you know, it says, and when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, because they agreed, we all agreed, okay, we just want to be saved, because we went into what, Egypt again with ships, and they said that no man was going to buy us, no man was going to free us, the only one that's going to free us is Yahweh Shai, through his, through, you know, that's why he died, or went on the cross, you know, that's what the blood, the grace, okay, but that, that came with a price, okay, it says, and when he agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard, okay, so we're supposed to be, at the end of the day, we're supposed to eat this roll, you know, and then go out there and bid people to the marriage, all right, to the marriage, you know, go out there and compel them to come into the marriage, you know, to the wedding, so it says, anyway, and when he had, when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard, and he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and said unto them, go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right I will give you, and they went their way, so for example, when he first went out, you know, he might, he might have saw uh, Abba Bivens, you know, compel them, you know, and then Abba Bivens, he went out again and he saw maybe the elders, Elder Pastor Horan down or whatever, you know, that's the third hour, I'm just, I'm just rough giving you, you know, kind of painting a picture, you know, and he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace, so that's the other brothers that came in, you know, different times, everybody, some brothers been laboring, like the elders, like I said, Elder Apostle to Heart, 30 plus years, you know, some of the elders, 30 plus years, some brothers, 10 years, 20 years, you know, that's some different hours, you know, so it says, and he said unto them, go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, I will give you, and they went their way, and again, he went about the sixth and the ninth hour, and did likewise, so brothers is always coming in, brothers is always coming in, and brothers are always falling out, you know, you got to endure, he that endure till the end, he that endure till the end, the same shall be saved, you know, so it says, and about the 11th hour, this is the main point that I wanted, meaning that the last, the last second, okay, the last, you know, the, la the last moment, you know, by the hairs of their chinny chin chin, and about the 11th hour, he went out and found others standing idle, and saith unto them, why stand ye here all day idle? They say unto them, unto him, because no man hath hired us. He saith unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever whatsoever is right that ye receive. Okay, so that was the, the last second. Because to prove that verse eight, he's gonna it's gonna continue on. It says, So when even was come, because that was the end. You know, he went out all day bidding people to the marriage. Okay, but when the night was come, that was it. You know? That's why it says work, you must do the work. While the work uh, must can be done, because the hour come when no man come, the night come when no man is gonna work. All right, so now is the time to push. Okay, now is the time to, to to show your diligence, to show your faith. Okay, the ultimate faith is going out there and, and, and prophesying. You claim you love the Lord. You claim you believe in the Lord. You claim you believe. You know you're an Israelite. You claim you know this man is a devil, Esau, Edom. You claim you know this place is about to be destroyed. Why wouldn't you go out there and show your faith and confess? Okay, confess the Lord, his name, okay, you know, his message, convey his message to the people, warn them, you know, it says, so when evening, even was come, the Lord of the vineyard saith unto his steward, call the laborers and give them their hire, okay, that's when them ten of them virgins are coming in, okay, five were wise, five were foolish, okay, you know, it says, it says, so when even even was come, the Lord of the vineyard saith unto this unto his steward, call the laborers and give them hire, being from the last unto the first. Okay? And when they came that that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. 
But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more, and likewise received every man a penny. And when they, because they were laboring for 30 years, 35 years, however long, okay, you know, they were mad, okay, because th th this person, he ain't had to labor that long. He just, he barely came into this thing, you know. He wasn't doing, he wasn't doing no, he ain't really did no videos, he, did, he barely was doing anything, you know. They were murmuring against a good man, which is Yahweh shot, okay, you know. It said, well, instead of just being thankful that you, that you got a damn re reward, you know. Just be thankful that you're going to be saved, that you're going to be delivered. You, be thankful you in that chariot, baby, <laughs> you know. You're getting, you're going to be protected from this damn destruction. You're going to be preserved from the said perils that are falling upon this place. Uh, who cares about what, what your lot is, what your, you know. Hey, King David said he'd rather be a doorman in heaven, okay. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, it is what it is. Just be thankful the Lord chose you, that the Lord is supping with you, man. And whatever whatever your portion is, pay it forward, okay? And, and, and pray and fast that the Lord increase you, man, and study. Because that, hey, man, the doors of mercy are closing. Get this oil in your lamp while you can, you know? It says, and when they have re had received it, they murmured against the good man of the house, saying, these last have wrought but one hour. They just came into this thing, man. What the hell? And thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne the burden of the heat of the day. Yeah, I mean, we've been out here for years, man, pushing this truth, you know? Getting scoffed at, you know, being ridiculed, being being hated, you know, catching hell. Because it says, who the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, man. So, you know, the, you, you ain't really afflict them, Lord, you know? They ain't, they ain't feel that heat. They ain't feel the burden of the heat of the day, you know? But he answered one of them and said, friend. I do thee no wrong. And uh, uh, notice he called him friend, meaning what? You un you ate the roll. You was out there laboring. So you know you, you, you know these precepts. You know it, man. So what? why are you upset? Okay, just be thankful we're getting out of here. Because he said, friend, I call you friend because, uh, you know, basically you know his secrets, man. You know? You're not a servant. A servant doesn't know what the master is doing. You're not, a, you're not no longer my servant. You're my friend, man. You know? I said, but he answered one of them and said, friend, I do thee no wrong. Didst thou not agree with me for a penny? Take that thine is and go thy way. I will give unto, unto this last even as unto thee. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with mine own? Is thine eye evil because I am good? So the last shall be first and the first last for many be called but few chosen. Okay, so that's why you got to give diligence. Because many are called, but you got to keep pushing. Okay? No man that taketh the hand from the plow looketh back is fit for the kingdom. You got to keep pushing. Okay? And that, that also reminds me of, of a, that's a, that's a, that's a damn play on word. That's, you know, the Lord is cold, man. He, 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 the, he the coldest MC. That's, that's kind of, if you can receive it, that, that's kind of talking about Esau and Jacob. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay? You know? So, hey. The last shall be first. At the end of the day, we're going to be ruling, man. Okay? And the first shall be last. You know? You see? You see? So that's kind of a... <laughs> that's why he said, uh, the Lord will have mercy upon whoever he will have mercy on, man. You see? He, that's why he said, is it not lawful for me to do what I will with my own? And he chose Yasharala. Jacob have I loved. Esau have, it, have I hated, man. Is he evil? Is that evil because he's good? He can do whatever. The, Esau is the vessels of wrath for this for, to destruction, man. And they touched the apple of, of, of the Lord's eye, Yasharala. They furthered the affliction. So, so hey, they're going to get judged, man. They're going to get recompensed. It is what it is. Um, Let's go. Let's bang out. Let me see what else I had. I had a couple more. I had a couple more. Let me see. Pretty much the same scripture here. Salakia. <laughs> Um, hey, because um, I, I put this hey, talking about the laborers, the laborers you're supposed to be working, working, you know. Every every it said that we all show the same diligence, man. Okay, yeah, like I said, there there's levels to things, but at the end of the day, everybody's supposed to be covenant to prophesy. Okay, you're not just supposed to. Say, well, I'm not a prophet, I'm not a teacher, so I'm not gonna study. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just be content. I know I'm an Israelite. I I believe. I believe in the Lord, the Most High. I ain't going to study. And I'm not sure what the name is, but I'm not going to study. No, man, study, <laughs> you know, 
covet the prophets. So act like you're about to put on as, therefore put on as the elect. Okay, and if, it, if it's your lot to teach, you're going to teach when that time comes. But be ready. Be apt. You know? This is um, Matthew 9 and 37. It says, Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. It's only a few good men, man. It's only a few good men. Okay? A lot of these people out here, uh, uh, man, that know they Israel, they ain't right, man. They part of the two-thirds, and, and they, they meant to be destroyed, man. They're, 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 they're being deceived. And the Lord has it that way. There's only a, they ain't, <laughs> it's only 144,000 of us, man. Okay? You know? 144,000 men. 12,000 out of each tribe. You know? And, and the believers. But the majority, man, they ain't right, man. They not right. You know? Many are called, few are chosen. Okay? They might, they might endure for a little bit, but they'll fall off. Okay, there's only a few good men, you know. It says, then saith he unto his disciples. And if you know that, if you know that, right, why wouldn't you want to add and add to this thing, man? Okay, you, you see that there's a bunch of false prophets. You see, you know, why wouldn't you want to, you know, build toward, help build this kingdom up, man? Do your part, you know. Don't be idle, all right. Don't be a slugger. Don't be lazy, you know. We all in this world still, man. We all catching hell. We all got bills to pay. We all got loved ones and family members. and We all in this world still, man. We all in this world, but we not of this world like the Lord said. Okay? That was some, I was, you know, I was reading all this, reading all these, reading all these scriptures from the top to the bottom, rereading, rereading. I can't remember exactly where it was, but he, he was talking about that, man. And one of these scriptures here that I pulled, I'm not going to look for it for the sake of time, man. All right? But, um, yeah, man. You got to do your part, man. You got to pay it forward because the word don't go out void. At the end of the day, who cares if they listen? Who cares if they scoffing and scorning? Who cares if you're getting views? Who cares? The, the, it's doing what it's supposed to. If they watch, the, if they read the title of the video, that's it. They marked. Okay. What, it doesn't matter. The word of the Lord does not go out void. Okay. This is a Luke chapter um, 10, verse 2. The same thing, but a different account, a different, uh, you know. It says, therefore, saith he unto them, unto who? The servants, the prophets. And if you could receive it right now, the two witnesses, the northern and the southern kingdom, man. The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. It's only a few of us, man, that's pushing heavy, you know, pushing, constantly flooding this unicorn, constantly banging these, these people in the head with these scriptures, man, okay? And if you truly love the Lord, that's what you would be doing, feeding his sheep, warning them, okay? You know? With his words, you know? The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of hope, the Lord of, the Lord of harvest, Salakia, pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. And that's what we are here doing, man. Fishing. Fishing for a few good men. Fishing. Fishing. Patiently. Wait. Wait. Trying to seal this elect, baby. That's why we do these videos, man. Okay. And to build ourselves up. Okay. First and foremost. Because we learn from these lessons. All they, they, It's edifying to us, man. You know. But we, hey, at the end of we fishing also, man. Looking for a few good men. Okay. And the Lord said he was, he was going to make us fishers of men. You know, you teach a man to fish, he'll, he'll eat forever. Okay? You know? So it says, Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into the into his harvest. You know, that going into that word husbandry, laborers, man. You got to be working, man. It says, Go your ways. Behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. Okay? Um, one more and I'm out of here. Oh, this was it here. Beautiful. The Wadi Habashim Shai. Beautiful. I'm gonna close it on this. I'm gonna close it on this. I'm gonna close it out on here. Beautiful. Call the How about you, Shai? The Wadi How about you, Shai? Beautiful. All right. I'm gonna start at the top. I'm not sure how how much I'm gonna read of this, but I'm just going to spirit. Lord's willing, like I said, this video was was uh, edifying, and it encouraged. Hey, take that first step, you know, or, or keep pushing, keep enduring. We're close. We're, the word don't go out void, man. You could clearly see. What, you know, all these celebrities, you know, every, it's, hey, the, this is the Lord's movie. 
It's the Lord's algorithm. Everything is playing out the, the way he wants, man. And he's coming quickly, man. And he's pleased. It pleases the Lord, man. Everything we're doing, it's not, it, it seems foolish. It seems, you know, you know, no, you know, like there's no, no reward. There's no, no, uh, there's no, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? We're doing it in vain, you know, you know, we're doing these lessons in vain and we're put, no, it's not going out in vain, man. It's not, it's going, <laughs> oh, that they were wise to consider the latter end. Our latter end is going to be so much more beautiful, man, you know. Those men that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord, man. Okay. And then on top of that, when you see all these calamities uh, befalling on these two thirds and these heathens, starting with Esau, Edom, and the other nations on down, they they they're getting they're dying in famine and the race wars and and you know, you're gonna see it's gonna be it's gonna pay off when you when that that the wah that the angels are protecting you and your household, man. When you're eating and laughing. Okay, all these scoffers and scorners are going to be starving, getting put to death, crying, screaming, looking for you, looking for answers. You know, it's going to pay off in the long run. Okay, you know, no pain, no gain. And this is a light affliction. Okay, we're almost out of here. We're close. We're, we're close. We're, almost, we're, we're close, man. So this is uh, John 17 and 1. It says, these words spake Yahweh Shai and lifted up his eyes to the heaven. To heaven and said, Father, Abba, you know, Yahweh, Father, the out showing you that there's two different, they're not the same people, man. Okay? They're two different entities, but they're on one accord, man. Okay? Okay? Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, God, and Yahweh Shai is his son, okay, who you call Christ, Jesus. They're two different entities, man. Yahweh is the ancient of days, okay? And Yahweh Shai is the Alpha and the Omega, okay? Two different beings on one accord, okay? Just like us, we're on one accord. We're one with Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. We're one with the Word. We're one with His message. We, we wit everything that's in these scriptures. We're with everything Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai said. We wit it, okay? What did it say? I believe, therefore I spoke, man. Okay, the lion have roared. Who can but prophesy? If you love the Lord, if you truly believe, you're going to be having works, man. You're going to be paying it forward. You're not going to be a napkin, niggard. Okay? Rivers of living water are going to be busting out your belly. You ain't going to be able to contain yourself. Okay? You know? Love is an action word. Love is in a feeling. Feelings change. Okay? One minute you're hungry, one minute you're not. That's not what love is. Love is an action. You got to show it. You can say you love someone, but you got to prove it. Prove it through your actions, okay? It says, These words spake Yahweh Shai and, and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee. Also thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. To the elect, man. Okay, to the elect, not to everybody, not whosoever, okay, to the elect, he was speaking to the elect, he was speaking to Israelites when he said whosoever, context, man, okay, it says, as thou hast given, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him, yeah, the first fruits predestined from salvation, man, okay, Lord's willing, that's us, we keep enduring, okay, the hopeful elect, okay, prisoners of Yahweh Shai. It says, and this is Salakia, and this is life eternal, that they might know the the only true power, the only true God, Yahweh. There is none else, man. And he's a jealous power. Okay, and he's jealous over his people, his the lot of his inheritance, Yasharala, Israel. We are, especially the elect, okay? Especially the elect, okay, the anointed, okay. It says, and this is a life eternal. That's why you're supposed to covet the prophesies. Put on, therefore, as the elect. Gird up thy loins like the, like a man. He will require it of thee. No excuses. No, no, you know. Hey, keep pushing. We're close. Let no man take thy crown. Okay? And, and this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true power, and Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, the only true God, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, whom thou hast sent. 
I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. Because what? Yahweh was about his father's business, man. And we are about our father's business. All right? We're here to finish the work. We're here to seal the elect. Okay? So, the end, so that the end will come. And that's only going to happen by you pushing out this word. You studying, eating the roll, and then going out there warning the people. Fishing. Fishing for the elect. For, hope, for, for, for men that are meet for repentance. That are going to pay it forward. You know? It says, I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, and now, O Father, glorify, I, and now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had, which I had with thee before the world was. It says, I have, this is the main point I wanted. I have manifest thy name, Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai. Okay? Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. That's what Wah means. Or Bahashim in the name. Okay. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is his only begotten Son. I have manifest thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. The elect. The elect. The elect. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me. And they have kept thy word. Okay. It's better to be obedient, to obey than to give the sacrifice of fools. Okay, that's what we're doing, man. We read, we believed, and we are here paying it forward. Because the word of the Lord does not go out void. Coming back full circle. Full, full circle. Okay? I Back to Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth from out of my mouth. Through what? Through his men, the servants, the prophets. Okay? It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. And it's prospering in, in his men. It's prospering. You can see the elect. We can see. Not just me, not just we're the hopeful elect. Not just them. You can see the, 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 the you can tell the elect. You can't trick us, man. We we could tell if the spirit is on you or not. Why? Because the elect, they're gonna speak with the words found within these scriptures. And they're gonna have the proper understanding, the proper breakdowns. Okay? Okay, we, we can, our spirit bear witness that we are the children of the Most High, man. Okay, we, we know who we are, okay? You know, it's you two-thirds that are blinded, okay? You two-thirds don't know. We, we, we can see that we can see the Lamb, okay? We following Him, okay? Wheresoever He goeth, okay? We're not doing our own thing. We're not leaning on our own understanding, okay? We're bringing our body into subjection to, you know, rehearsing to obey. Being obedient to your how about you, shy. Being faithful unto death. Okay? It says, I have manifest thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest me, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. Because we're joint ears with Yahweh Shai. That's what we're fighting for, okay? Our crown, baby, okay? You know? It says, for I have given unto them the words. The words, what? Because <laughs> the words are Yahweh Shai. He comes in the volume of the book. It is written of me, okay? He is the words. He is, he, he, you see? You know? You see? It says, for I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. And, and what did Yahweh Shai do when he was on the scene? All he did was quote the Old Testament, man. Anytime he cut them, he cut them with something from the Old Testament. Okay? You know? He wasn't leaning on his own understanding. How did he rebuke how did he rebuke Satan? With the scriptures, man. Okay? You see? The same thing we in the same lot. We we everything go back to these precepts, man. Okay? It says, for I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou, had, thou, that thou didst send me. Faith, that's called faith, okay? We, we have faith. We heard, therefore we believe, man, okay? Prisoners of hope, prisoners of Yahweh Shai, okay? Just like Yahweh Shai was a prisoner of Yahweh, okay? <laughs> you see? So I pray for them, I pray not for the world. So it's not no whosoever, God so loved the world. The Lord just said, I pray for them. Who is the them? The elect, the ones that Yahweh gave him, 
the first fruits, man. Okay? He said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. But I just thought, he said, John 3, 16 said, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Yeah, he loved the world of Yasharala, man. A particular world, a, a particular arrangement, a particular group of people. Okay, Yasharala. But at this time, only a particular, uh, a, a, a particular a world within a world, man. <laughs> you know, he loved Yasharala, but at this point, he only loves the elect of Yasharala. Okay, two thirds are of, of their father, the devil. You see? And that's who he's praying for, the elect. And that's why it's important to keep pushing, okay? So we can seal the elect, that way we can get out of here, man, okay? You see? It says, I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, and all mine are thine. Yeah, we're one, one accord, baby, one sound doctrine, one mind, one body, okay? You know? It says, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. Okay? It says, and now I... Uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I can keep going. I can keep going. But that, that's pretty much it. You get the idea. I, I, I don't want... No need to be too long. You get the idea. Like I said, the point... The main point that I was trying to pr prove is that the word of the Lord don't go out void, man. Okay? Okay, so, hey, don't worry about views. Don't worry about none of that. Don't worry about likes. Okay, we're not from this. <laughs> we're from above. They're from beneath, man. All right. Oh, was that in John that he said that? Salakia. I, I can't remember if that's where he said that at. Salakia. I don't know. I'm not going to look for it. I might do it. I'll look for it. Maybe. Uh, I think I just saw it. Oh, here it is. Salakia. The Wadi Habashi Meow Shai. The Wadi Habashi Meow Shai. I'm going to close it out here. Uh, let's close it out here. This is John 17 and 14. It says, I have given them thy word. Hey, get the word again, baby. What is the word? Where is the word found? What is the word, man? What is the word that, that he keeps talking about? What is this word, man? I have given them thy word, and the world have hated them. Yeah, we're the filth of the world, man. We're hated. We're ridiculed. We're mocked. We're scorned. Just like Yahawashai was. We're in the same lot. He told us that, man. He told us that the servant is not greater than the master. If they hated me, they're going to hate you. Why? Because they ain't right. They're the father of the devil. All right? So the Lord don't care about them. He only cares about the elect, the elect, the elect. And the elect are going to be obedient. Okay? It says, I have, as Yahweh was, okay, faithful unto death. Okay? It says, I have given them thy word, and the world have hated them. Because they are not of the world. Yeah, we telling you stop being a sodomite. Stop being a homosexual. Follow the dietary laws, you know. Keep the Sabbath. Keep the high holy days to the best of your ability, you know. Repent. Seek the Lord while he may be found. And they hate us for that. We, They hate us for that, okay. Even, it says, I have given them thy word. Where do we get these things? Where do we get this knowledge from? Where, 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 where are we coming from? When we say keep the dietary laws, where does that, that come from? The scriptures, the word. When we say stop being a, a damn homosexual, where we get Leviticus is the laws, man. That's in the word, man. The law is not done away with, but they hate us. And then you say you love Yahweh Shai. We show you that Yahweh Shai said that the law ain't done away with. You know, it don't matter. You just don't do it. You just, you just ain't right, man. You just looking for excuses because you really hate your about you Yahweh Shai. You don't want him to rule over you. You want you want these heathens to rule over you. Okay? That's what it really boiled down to. Okay? That's why you hate us. Okay? Because you hate the Lord. Okay? It says, I have given them thy word. Okay, because we come in precept after precept, line after line. Okay. We ain't coming with out of our own thoughts. Anything we say, we back it up with the word. Okay? I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world. We're not of this place, man. Fuck this place. Wa abad the ball. Destroy this place. Even as I am not of the world. I pray not I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world. Yeah, we 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 got work to do. Salaki, we got work to do, man. It, it, it's much more needful for us to be here. Yeah, we would be at rest in the spirit world. You know, we'd be good. But, hey, the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are, are few, man. Okay? It's only a few good men. 
So if you're one of the men, you, hey, it, it, much much is given, much is required. It's a lot of work to do, man. You got a lot of slackers, a lot of sluggers, man. Okay? You know? So we got to do sometimes two, three times the, the workload. But it, it is what it is. You know? It's going to be worth it in the end. All right? It says, I pray not, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world. Okay? Because there's no greater joy <laughs> than a man to see the downfall of his enemy, baby. So we're going to see it, Lord's willing. The Lord said to ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, man. He said he was going to turn us from fishers to hunters, man. And that's what we're waiting on. The patience and the faith of the saints, baby. We wait until the Lord rises us up to the prey. Per Zephaniah. Okay, that's what we're waiting on, baby. Okay. When the Lord comes back and this time he ain't coming back as a man. Okay. And we join ears with him, baby. We're going to get busy. Okay. You know, what does it say? Happy, I ain't even going to go there. Anyway, it says, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that, but that thou shouldest keep them from evil. Bad times. Jacob's trouble. Bad times are coming, man. So, hey, you want that? You got to do the work, man, to be, to get that protection, that hedge around you. Be obedient. It says, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Alright? Anyway, with that being said, Lord's willing, it was said, hey, and that answered the question right there. What is this word, this word, this word? The word is these scriptures and it's the truth. And like I said, that's what we all have in common. We were searching for the truth. What, what, No matter what we found or discovered. Okay? Okay, but we found the best thing in the world, that we are the Lord's chosen people, the apple of his eye, baby. And Esau, Edom, and these other nations are going to have to pay for what they did to us. That's the good news, and we're almost out of here. That's the good news. That's the gospel, okay? And so if that, well, why the hell wouldn't you convey that message, okay? Unless you are of this world, and you care about what this world thinks. But, hey, we are not of the world. Fuck this place. Fuck you two-thirds. Fuck you heathens. Damn sure fuck you Edomites. Okay, because you're going into slavery, you know, we only care about the elect, the elect, the elect, the elect, okay, and we close, the elect is see almost sealed, or, or damn near sealed, like the elder Apostle Hart said, because that seed is planted, and at the end of the day, Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to give that increase when he's ready, at the 11th hour, the 9th hour, whatever, okay, you see, you see, so anyway, with that being said, Lord's one of this uh, video was edifying. Hey, like I always say, keep pushing. We're close. Shalom. Wa abad babal.